hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a video to show you all of the pieces in my home that I have salvaged or dumpster dived or skip dived or what else do we call it? Trash picking I think is another expression for it. Basically I'm going to be showing you all of the items in my home that I got for free because somebody else was discarding them. And there are quite a few. I've been around all of the rooms and had a quick um, preview to work out all the things I'm going to be showing you. And there are quite a lot of things. I would say probably about 50% of my furniture has come from either a skip or it's been discarded and left out on the pavement for somebody to take. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be really fun to show you all of the items that I got for free. Um, and maybe it will inspire you to um, keep your eyes peeled next time you're passing by a skip or a dumpster. Or if you see a piece of furniture that's been discarded out on the pavement and is free to take, maybe it will inspire you to collect it next time and do something with it. Some of the items I've done literally nothing with apart from clean them, and some of them I've upcycled a bit as well. So I'll show you what I've done with everything as we go around and you will be getting a bit of a house tour and seeing some areas in my home that you may never have seen before. If you're new here don't forget to click subscribe I'm posting new videos every single week and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can also find me over on Instagram my main account is Mr Carrington the word Mr and then Carrington I also have my home account which is Mr Carrington home it would be great to see you over there as well. Before we get into this a quick disclaimer do check what the rules are in terms of taking things from a skip or a dumpster where you are. I think it does vary from country to country and obviously you can use some common sense here as well. I've just had a quick look online and it says in the UK a person commits theft if he dishonestly appropriates property belonging to another with the intention of permanently depriving the other of it. So if it can be proven that the property that was thrown away had a rightful owner, it would be illegal to take it. So essentially, I think what they're saying is the contents of the skip belongs to whoever put it in the skip still, I think, so you're meant to ask them. Do be careful if you're rummaging around in a skip. There's often nails and chemicals and that sort of thing, and often quite nasty dust as well. So just be careful if you are um, having a little rummage. And if you see furniture that's being discarded on the street, often it is there free to take, but do maybe double check if someone's around. And particularly with chairs, just be careful that someone hasn't popped a chair outside of their property to do a bit of sunbathing on, because that can be really awkward if you go to take a chair and then someone comes out to sit on it to start sunbathing. Yeah. And finally, some things have been discarded because they may have an infestation. So if it's something like wood, do have a good look at it and look for any signs of that. But I don't want that to put you off. I found some absolute treasure over the years, which is why it's all in my home. So we'll go around and take a look at it all. The first thing I've got to show you is this mirror that's sitting above the mantelpiece. As you can see, it's got this painted design on the front that is um, from Vogue. And it's got a lady, looks to be riding a peacock, I think, <laughs> is what's going on on there. So yeah, I just found this, someone had discarded it and left it outside their home by the bins and I thought it was really nice. So all I did with that was clean it up. So on top of the uh, fireplace here we have this old suitcase. Again, um, this is something that was retrieved from a skip, um, actually in Marlebone in London. So sometimes you can find things in the centre of town. I think it's more like you'll pick up stuff in suburbs, but occasionally, you'll never know, someone might be having a big old clear out and you might find some treasure. So obviously this is quite bashed up and the locks don't work, but I love it. I think it gives the space a bit of character and it's useful for storing stuff in. I've got some speakers in there and some banana grams. I'm not actually sure what kind of leather this is. Maybe let me know in the comments if you recognize it. And I don't know whether it would have had a leather handle there originally, whether this string was added on later. Probably was, but again, I think it just adds to the character. Now our fireplace isn't real, this is just a cheap and cheerful one that, that I picked up in Pound Stretcher. This was a fantastic find. So this piece along the front here is a solid granite hearth. These things are so, so heavy. I can't even begin to describe how heavy this was. 
but I just think it looks brilliant and yeah behind it I've just fitted a piece of wood that's been painted black just to give the illusion but for now this is doing a great job and I think even if we do get something um, proper installed here in the future I think this piece will work really nicely. So it was well worth the struggle of getting that piece home. I think it just kind of frames the fireplace really nicely as well. On the other side of the sofa, in this corner where I used to always sit for my YouTube videos, I've kind of gone to the other side for the time being, but we may be back in this spot in the future. But in this corner here, this is a metal trunk that also um, was found along with the suitcase that I just showed you from Marleybone. And um, yeah, so basically in here, I just keep all of our candles and things like that. So just a nice bit of storage. So this is a solid metal rusty old trunk it's not actually um kind of rusty to touch but it has discolored a bit so it's fine to have in the home but it is very old and beaten but i just really like the look of it and yeah this is just full of um candles and more candles and more candles and more candles and jenga so yeah <laughs> that's what's kept in there Okay, so in the corner over here, some of you may remember this piece because I did rescue it on my Instagram stories and you may remember that I just stood with it until I got myself an Uber XL and got it home for £7. So I'm really pleased with this. It still needs a bit of work. As you can see, it's quite scuffed and scratched. So I'm in two minds of what to do with this. I may either try to restore the wood, but I do think it's quite badly battered, so I may well paint it. So that will come in a future video. I'll do a little upcycle on that for you. And we'll try and transform this a bit, but for now, I think it's absolutely fine. I'm going to also organize it inside a bit better, and I'm hoping to keep all the stuff relating to my blog and YouTube in there, all in one place, nicely filed. I can keep equipment in the drawers and store any files or magazines that I've worked with in the lower compartment. And what I like about this, oh, that's annoying. We need to deal with that at some point. That's the telephone cable thing. <laughs> um, what I really like about this is the fact that you can close it off. So when your day of work is done, you can close it away and not have to look at it. The next thing that I've got to show you is this dining table that also doubles up as my desk and you may well have seen this before if you watched any of my DIY videos this is where I do a lot of my DIYs I do a lot of my work here we eat here it's a really versatile table essentially sometimes I'll spin it around into the main part of the room as well to shoot videos with sometimes it has a tablecloth over it and as you can see it is pretty bashed up but I kind of like that I've kept it exactly how we found it, apart from giving it a good clean. You can actually see, because this was rescued from outside, some leaves had fallen down onto it. And you can see them here where they'd kind of been on it and then other stuff had fallen down and left marks around it. But I don't mind. I think it's kind of cool like that. And it means that I'm not worried too much if little accidents happen with my glue gun or paint splatters. They're all um, signs of um, what's happened on this table, but I kind of like that. It gives it a bit of character. This is what the legs look like. So yeah, really nice, simple design. And I had some random tassels, which I decided to hang <laughs> on them because why not? I was just about to move on to the next room and then I remembered that the door <laughs> is also um, something that's been salvaged. So we'll have a quick look at that before we move on. So originally here was a quite nasty flat fire door. So I was really pleased when we discovered this being thrown away. So it's the original wood. It hasn't been painted or treated and I kind of just like it. It doesn't match any of the other doors in the whole place, but not to worry, I think it looks cool, it gives the room a bit of character and it even had the really nice um, door handles and yeah, everything's a bit wonky in our place so as you can see, the door frames had to be built out um, 
yeah, that's obviously not straight to make it line up, but you know, it is what it is. And yeah, I just think it gives the room a nice bit of character. Onto the office, and this is another door that was thrown away, so has been rescued and given a new lease of life. The door on here was very unappealing and flat um, prior to putting this one on, so yeah, nice um, solid wood, traditional old door, which I think is a little bit more in keeping with the property. Again, this one came with the handle. You know, handles are very pricey, so even if you see a door being thrown out and you don't want the door itself, maybe consider taking any um, hardware because you can find some lovely bits of hardware that are much nicer than the ones that are being sold in stores today. The quality of these older ones are really good, and yeah, you might be able to get a locksmith to sort the lock out, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, it just works as it is. And then up the top, I really like the old hook as well. Um, that was on there, so that's just a nice little detail. In the corner we have this cable drum table that I upcycled. I'll link the tutorial to this below where you'll be able to see it a lot better um, because I do need to tidy this up a little bit. It's got a bit of chaos going on in here at the moment, but yeah, I just use it to keep um, plants next to the window. And then this filing cabinet was a recent find. Someone had just put this out on the street um, and left it with a sign that saying, please take me, so I did, got this home in a taxi. So yeah, you can just get an Uber XL if you see anything, if you are based in London. And this I use to keep trainers and shoes in. I've got some bits tucked away here that you may have seen from previous videos that I found that are yet to be hung up. One of them is this uh, canvas that had been left out on the street. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Let's turn it around for you to see. So there's that, which I think is quite cool. It adds a nice pop of color. So I might be hanging that up soon. Just haven't decided where to put that yet. And then this old screen or old canvas or whatever you want to call it, um, also was discarded and it has a poem on the bottom there. So if you want to read the poem, you can hit pause and uh, have a read of that. I won't read it all out to you, but yeah. It's got a really nice scene on it. I think it's really tranquil, but it's been tucked away in the office for the time being because it was kind of getting in the way a bit. So I need to rethink where we put this. So in the kitchen, when we first moved in, this wall here, was actually kind of like an alcove that went back into a space where the boiler was. So it was really unsightly just looking into this sort of dead space here with a boiler there. So what we did is um, put some plasterboard in, um, which filled up the hole. And then what I needed to do was introduce some access here because this here was all a solid wall. Well, you know, like a plasterboard wall. But I wanted to be able to access the boiler from the hallway instead of going into the dead space through the kitchen. So to create what is now known as our boiler room, obviously <laughs> it's tiny, but I like to call it a boiler room, as you know. So um, the first thing that I've rescued in this area here is these shelves. So these were exactly as they are. I don't know what they were for originally. Um, they're kind of made just out of MDF and they've been painted in a white gloss. So I didn't have to do anything with those, but I thought they'd fit that space quite nicely just to fill up that gap and to give it a bit of interest and to display some nice bits and pieces for the kitchen. There's even some small Japanese pots lined up there, squeezed up at the top. Um, but yeah, I think that works quite nicely. And then here where we had a um, wall before, we needed to find some either cupboard doors or a door, but obviously it's quite a small gap, not quite big enough to fit a uh, standard door. I guess you could but it would be opening up into what is the hallway so I wanted to avoid that. So I just had it in mind that we needed to find a small door and lo and behold um, stumbled across this one one day that was being thrown out. So the dimensions of this door are quite tiny so that's my hand as you can see. So it's kind of like it looks like a door but it's a little bit scaled down and just perfect for um, containing the boiler room which Maybe you'll see another day. Stay tuned for a, <laughs> a boiler room tidy up. Came with a lock on it, doesn't actually lock, never mind. Just a nice bit of interest there, doesn't need to lock. Who needs to lock their boiler room? And then I added these um, nice brass hooks on here that can be um, used for hanging coats or umbrellas or anything else. So 
so over this end of the kitchen we have these two chairs i believe these are called school chairs um they're quite small um but they are comfortable to sit on and yeah found these being thrown out by somebody they were on the pavement with a label on saying please take me so i did i just cleaned them up and I just added some paint onto these. This is Farrow and Ball and the colour is, I think this is antique white, I think. But don't quote me on it because I can't remember. It was some time ago that I painted these. And then I just left the backs looking a little bit rough and ready, how they were, slightly weathered, but I just like the effect that that gives them. And yeah, just a nice little contrast on the seat. And then behind them, the shutters that go on the lower half of the window um, again, were just being thrown out. So what I've done here is actually cut one long shutter in half to create um, the two panels, popped um, the hinges so that they join together. The hinges were already on them, um, but I just used the hinges to join it to make a double panel. And then I used these clever little hinges that will let it sit proud of the window and fold back. So these have got like a L shape um, bracket on them. Yeah, they kind of just rest on the window ledge, but then they can be folded back. So they just give us a bit of privacy in the kitchen and then the top section is open. And then these pigeon holes, um, I don't know what these were for originally, probably for CDs I'm guessing. Um, these were a kind of white, were they white? They might have just been the MDF, I can't remember to be honest. Um, I painted these in the same colour as the chairs, so I used the Farrow and Ball. It's perfect size for keeping mugs in, so yeah, and the um, drip filters as well. So we've got some mugs going on, a couple of, um, well a succulent and a cactus. And yeah, I'm sure many of these mugs you may have seen before in videos. And yeah, just a nice way to store them. And I nearly forgot about these, but these were um, some plates that I picked up. These were actually left out next to, you know, the recycling bins that you get at certain supermarkets. So these were just left, someone had just dumped them next to the recycling. And yeah, I just really liked them. I thought they were cool. Um, I really liked the glaze on them. So I picked them up. There was four of them originally, but I'm Unfortunately, a couple of them have been broken since I found them. We've got two left, but I just thought I'd show you those as well. And that's who's made them, in case you're interested. Okay, so that's it for downstairs. So we've come upstairs now, and the first thing I want to show you is on the landing here. And it is this trunk that used to be in the living room. So you may have seen this before from a living room tour. This was actually in the accommodation that I stayed in when I first moved to London. And they had a luggage room and they were clearing it out one day and lots of old trunks and suitcases got thrown out and this was one of them. So this would have been from one of the original residents there. And yeah, I just really liked it and I use this to keep um, bedding and pillows and spare bedding and that sort of thing in there. <laughs> bathroom and we have these wood and metal shelves that were discarded by somebody so the edges are kind of like a stainless steel and then yeah they've just got a double shelf and then the wood um, panels along the back which I use to store fragrances on and the odd shampoos and bits like that and then in front of the mirror we have this table here um, which again has been rescued, it had been thrown out. It did have a kind of covering on the top, but I peeled that back to reveal this rough wood. And yeah, it was black and tarnished on top, but I just peeled it all off and just left a bit of it, so I quite like the shabby edge on it. And then down here, I've got an old um, champagne crate. It must have had a big old bottle in there. It must have had a magnum in there or something. But um, yeah, that's just to keep cleaning products. But if you push it right back, you kind of only just see the um, box like that. So it looks quite nice. And I really like the metal legs on this um, table as well. So um, yeah, really nice for the bathroom. Just got a couple of plants on top of that. <laughs> Similar to the kitchen, I have some shutters that were rescued, the same ones, but obviously in the kitchen they were chopped in half and this is just um, the pair that were remaining. So fitted perfectly. As you can see, they just kind of sit on the window again. 
And yeah, so it came as a three. One got chopped off and chopped in half of the kitchen. And then these two have filled the bathroom window perfectly. And the last piece I've got to show you is this chest of drawers that I found underneath a railway arch. It's a little bit worse for wear on the top, it's got a few scratches. Um, I should probably fill those in again. I've got some pens that you can um, colour in the where it's scratched basically. Um, so I should probably give that a little top up. But you know, it's all a bit rough and ready, but I really love these drawers. I really like the um, Bakelite um, handles that they've got going on. And they do glide in and out really nice and smoothly as well, which is always um, good with a chest of drawers, isn't it? There we are, Marie Kondo, eat your heart out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it. So that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this little look around at all the things I found from a skip or a dumpster, or that's just been discarded out on the pavement. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite. I really hope this video has given you some inspiration as to how you can um, use things that have been thrown away to save them from landfill or repurpose them, or yeah, just giving you some ideas for your home. Let me know as well if you found um, any treasure yourself. I would love to know what you found. And if you take any photographs of it over on Instagram, do feel free to tag me in your pictures or in your stories so that I can share them. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoyed it, please do give it a little thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm back today with a, what are we calling it? You found any treasure yourself. I would love to know if you found any find. Before we get into it, a click. So if it can be proven that the property that was thrown away had a rightful older. <laughs> I can't even say this. Uh, trainers and, what do you call them? Shoes. 